I'm Dr. Gapster with Larimer Humane Society. I'm the supervising vet here. This is Ellie. She's going to help us show how to brush teeth today. Dental care is a really important part of caring for your animal. Um, a lot of times we don't look inside their mouth, but they can have tartar and bacteria that builds up in there, causes infection, and can affect all the organs of the body if it's bad enough. Regular dental cleanings under anesthesia are recommended with your veterinarian, and they can recommend when those are best to do to happen. But regular teeth brushing like we do is also a great way to increase the health of the mouth in animals. So for Ellie, she's pretty good and she's pretty used to this, um, but we're just gonna use a regular toothbrush. They do make dog toothbrushes that you can use and they make dog toothpaste. You should not use human toothpaste. There can be toxins in that and sugars that are bad for dogs. The dog toothpaste, they can be anything from malt flavor, beef flavor, chicken, turkey. Ellie's favorite is turkey. So sometimes you'll have to have someone hold the dog or cat. Um, cats definitely tolerate this less than dogs, um, but with time and appropriate technique, they can get used to it. For Ellie, I'm, I'm wearing gloves. It's best to wear gloves, but you don't need to. I'm just gonna lift her lip here and just start up front and do a little bit of brushing. I don't want to brush on the gums a lot, but I want to brush up to the gums. Ellie likes a lot of breaks, so I'll do some brushing and then give her a break. Do a little more brushing and give her a break. In general, the outside of the teeth build up tartar quicker than the inside of the teeth. We'll often see most of the tartar build up on the molars and premolars, which are these teeth back here. Ellie's look all right, but they definitely need some brushing. And so I just kind of hold her lip gently to the side and brush. It's easier to brush the top than it is the bottom because as you can see, her top teeth overlie her bottom. But that also means that they build tartar on the top teeth quicker than the bottom. You might see some bleeding and that's not uncommon. If it gets excessive, you'll want to stop. And as I said, you kind of want to work them up to it. So you're not going to do a major teeth brushing and then don't do it again for a month. You want to do just a little bit, kind of every day, so it keeps the tartar off there. Dry food can help them essentially brush their teeth by crunching on it, but a lot of animals don't actually bite their food. They just swallow it whole. And so if that's the case, that won't be helping their teeth and tartar build up. Sometimes I'll go and get the inside of their mouth. You want to be careful with this. If you are going to put your fingers inside their mouth, you want to make sure you put it behind the canine there but they don't really like this and they might bite you. So you gotta be really careful with that and really know your dog. That's about all we're gonna do today. You don't wanna get too crazy like I mentioned. Just wanna get that bacteria layer off there and work on it every day. If you can do it every day, that's the best, but it's kinda like working out. Some is better than none.